If you're thinking about buying a Mazda CX-5, a Toyota RAV4, or a Hyundai Tucson, then you should also be thinking about that. That is the new generation Ford Escape, and it's, it's nothing like the last one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about the new Ford Escape, and I'm gonna show you how to escape from something like this. Yes, just like Houdini. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna break this down into eight sections, starting with design, price and features, practicality, safety, magic trick, engine specs, fuel economy, ownership, what it's like to drive. Now those are the time codes right there. If you want, you can jump ahead, dig through, find out what you want. And if you're watching on YouTube, just down there are the chapter markers. Same thing goes, dig through them, find out what you want. And if you wanna read the full review, go to carsguide.com.au and give us a like and subscribe. Oh yeah, also I'll show you how to do this. Let's go. Design. Oh, mama. That's a good looking medium sized SUV. It's curvy and sleek and premium looking and handsome. I mean, if Aston Martin were to build an SUV, it would probably look just like this. Oh, they have. Oh, and, and it does. That's a bit awkward. Well, at least the Escape is about $300,000 less. More on the price later. Let's talk dimensions. If you've ever wondered how long a piece of string is, the answer is 4.6 meters. And that's also how long the Escape is too, which is the same size as the RAV4. The new Escape is longer and wider than the old one, but not as tall. The cabin looks like this. Now we're in the top of the range Vignale, and it gets nice things like these leather seats and this fancy dashboard, but all the grades are pretty well appointed. There's the entry grade Escape, and the ST line with its sporty red bits. But in the top of the range Vignali, I'd expect something a little bit plusher at this price point. Let's talk about prices. Price and features. There are three grades in the Escape range. The entry level Escape, which is just called the Escape. And above that is the ST line. And then there's the Fig Nail. No, it's, no, it's not that. It's the, ah, sorry, Vignale. Those are the list prices right there. Notice how you can only get the entry grade escape in front wheel drive, and that the ST line also comes as a plug-in hybrid. So the most affordable Ford Escape you can buy costs $36,000 before on-road costs. I mean, an entry grade Toyota RAV4 costs about $5,000 less. You are getting a decent amount of equipment though. I'll show you. Coming standard on the Integrate Escape are 18 inch alloy wheels, privacy glass, and silver roof rails, an 8 inch display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless phone charger, sat nav, an embedded modem, dual zone climate control, push button start, a 6 speaker stereo with digital radio, and a reversing camera. There's also a smart key that lets you unlock the doors like this and then lock them with a COVID safe elbow. Bok bok chicken, as all the kids are saying these days. The ST line adds this black grille, those 18 inch alloy wheels and sports suspension, those black roof rails and this large rear spoiler and those dual exhaust tips. Inside there's sports seats with red stitching, a flat bottom steering wheel and the fully digital instrument cluster. The Vignale has this grille and matrix LED headlights. It's got leather heated front seats and rear seats, a Bang & Olufsen stereo, a head-up display, a power driver's seat, auto parking, and a gesture tailgate. Did you also notice that the shape of the entry-grade grille is different to the ST lines? Look! See? It is. Practicality. The Escape is spacious. Well, just look at those legs and the room they have. I'm 191 centimetres tall and that seats in my driving position. Headroom is great too. There's also directional air vents back there, plus two USB ports and another two up front to go with that wireless charger. And those are big door pockets there. Those are very tiny ones there, but there are cup holders there and there. The second row slides. Ugh. And that gives you between 412 and 526 litres of boot space. What does that mean? Well, nothing really, not until you put something in that boot. And you can, look, it fits the entire Cars Guide luggage. 
Now about that auto tailgate, they're convenient, but they're also not. Because you could open and close a regular one at least a couple of times before the auto one finished opening just once. Safety and a magic trick. Okay, welcome to the safety section of the Ford Escape video. It's also the magic section of the video too. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take you through the safety features of the Ford Escape and at the same time, I'm gonna show you how to do that magic trick. Well, I'm gonna demonstrate it. I'll give it away right at the end of the video. But for this, we'll need Sam. Sam's the videographer of this video. He's also shot the Ford Pima video and the Kia Sorento video. And now he's gonna tie my wrists up while I take you through the safety features. So. It's got a five star and cap rating, but if you read the fine print, you can go a bit tighter than that. If you read the fine print, it's for 2019 rules and regulations. Still, it's got AEB with cyclist and pedestrian detection. It's got, ah, uh, that's good enough. Uh, cyclist detection, it's got lane keeping assistance and front and rear parking sensors as well. That's pretty secure. Now, in the count of three, I'm gonna spin around, I'm gonna get out of it in a split second. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this trick at the very end of this video. You'll be able to do it as well, it's easy. Even kids can do it, and I can do it. Ready, one, two, three. That's it, there you go, right there. Easy as pie, I'll show you at the end. Engine specs. The new Ford Escape comes with a two liter turbo petrol four cylinder engine. Oh, that's it under there. It also comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission. And those are the engine outputs right there. That's quite a lot of grunt for a mid-size SUV in this price range. You'll also be able to get it as a plug-in hybrid. Apparently, it's coming in 2021. It's the future, I know. Fuel use. Ford says that after a combination of open and urban roads, the two-liter turbo petrol four-cylinder should be getting that mileage right there. Well, we tested it, and that's the mileage that we got. If you're lucky enough to have the plug-in hybrid, it's super fuel efficient, and that's what Ford says your mileage should be. And we'll test that as soon as we have one in the garage. Ownership. The Ford Escape is covered by a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, which is pretty par for the course these days. I tell you what is good though, the servicing. It's capped price, capped at $299 per service for the first four years. I'm talking of servicing, mine's due. My 15,000 kilometer service, <sighs> can't wait. Let's go for a drive. All right, just a reminder, you can get the Escape in front wheel drive and all wheel drive. Actually, that's not entirely true. You can't get the entry grade Escape in all wheel drive. It only comes as a front wheel drive, but for the other grades, the ST line and the Vignale, they both come in all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive. Your choice. Also, your choice is what you want powering it. Um, the car that we've got here is the two-liter turbo petrol four-cylinder. And as I said earlier in this video, coming later in 2021 will be a plug-in hybrid as well. Okay, so the car that we're in at the moment is just the plain petrol escape. When I say plain, it's, it's, it's anything but plain actually. Um, 183 kilowatts and 387 newton meters is quite a lot of grunt uh, for a, for a mid-size SUV for this price. It's responsive, it's quite quick, and that's even without even putting it into sport mode. Sport mode, and we'll just put it into sport mode now, and you can see it scroll through on your digital instrument cluster. It makes the engine even more responsive, it makes the shifts quicker as well, and um, yeah, look, if you're sitting at the lights and you need to, you need to move quite quickly, um, I recommend pressing that. You actually don't even need to. It's, it's pretty responsive as it is just in normal driving mode. The transmission is also pretty good as well. It's, it can be a little bit slow. So you pull up here at the stop sign and it, just, it can hesitate a little bit. Um, it's not the fastest auto in the world. Dual clutch automatics are a lot faster but they're also a bit more jerky. This is, this is quite smooth. Now, what is my least favorite thing about driving the Ford Escape? Um, I would say it's probably the steering. Um, it's a little bit too direct. So what that means is you only need to turn the steering wheel just a tiny little bit and the whole car 
turns. Uh, I know that sounds silly, but there are some cars which are more slower geared in their steering and like luxurious cars, and they, they, they're a bit smoother. Whereas this seems to have really sporty steering so that you only turn it just a little bit and the whole car reacts immediately. And then what that can do is that if you, if you turn too hard, that unsettles the body of the car and it can get a bit sort of, I'm not gonna say unstable because it's not unsafe, but it can just sort of unsettle it a little bit. Um, and that can just lead to a little bit of, you know, a, a wobbly ride at times. All right, now I have been driving these cars every day um, in all three grades. The turning circle is pretty, pretty good. Visibility is also great. Those back windows are large there. Uh, the rear window is, is, is quite large as well, and that reversing camera has one of the clearest pictures I've, I've ever seen. It's fantastic. All right, the Vignale has also got auto parking as standard. You press this button down here, and it searches for spots, parallel spots along the side of the road. It also does perpendicular spots too. Now, there's one there. Let's see if it recognizes it. it should beep at me. There we go, it's found it. It's saying stop and now it's saying neutral. I've done that now. And then you let go of the wheel and away you go. What do you do? I've got to press that button down there. And you hold on that parking button and away you go. You can completely do this with your hands tied. Oh my God, it's so fast. Whoa, that is quicker than most other systems I've used. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was good. <laughs> Someone's moving again. Where, where, where is he going? Okay, it stopped, finished. Get little checkered flags. Huh. We're done, we're done. There we go. Whew. Auto parking, it works. It's pretty quick. <laughs> and I mean, you know, anyone could have gone to that spot too, but you know, if you're super lazy, you could do it every time. All right, let's keep going. All right, let me show you this rope escape trick. Actually, the only trick thing about it, of course, is the rope. Now, it looks like a regular rope. Um, there it is right there. But the truth is, it's not a regular rope. It's actually one of these. It's an Oki strap, like that. Be careful of these kids at home. Don't fling these around, you'll have an eye out. What you've got to do is you just cut off these hooks like so. So now you have your stretchy rope, but don't stretch it in front of your audience, you'll, you'll give the trick away. Now, Sam, I'll get you to come back in again. Sam, can you tighten my wrists? And when Sam does this, be careful not to stretch it so that people will see how it works. But you can do it tightly. Actually, it doesn't matter how tightly you do it, you'll still be able to get out of it. And then once that's done, you spin around, and as you spin around, you'll get out of it really quickly. So what you do is this and you're out. It's amazing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you exactly what happens when I've got my back turned to the camera. So as you spin around, you tuck your hands through, you've got it out, and ta-da, you've done it. A rope escape trick, just like Houdini. Well, sort of. Okay, now let's go through the scores for the Ford Escape for design. I'm giving it an eight out of 10. It's a really good looking SUV. In fact, it looks like a mini Aston Martin SUV. You know, probably the legal letters on the way from Aston as we speak. For price and features, I'm giving it a seven out of 10. Look, it's too expensive. There needs to be a grade below the entry grade. It needs to be $30,000, not $36,000 as a starting price into this car. So seven out of 10 for price and features. For practicality, I'm giving it an eight out of 10, but only just. The doors at the back don't open wide enough really. As a parent, I like them to open as wide as possible to get kids in and out. The door pockets in the back are also minute. Although the door pockets up front are huge and rear leg room and headroom is fantastic. And that sliding second row is great. It gives you heaps of room in the boot too. Engines. That two liter four cylinder turbo petrol engine is great. It makes so much grunt. Actually one of the most grunty SUVs for this price in this class. Transmission eight speed auto is pretty darn good as well. I'm giving it an eight out of 10. So for fuel economy, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. That two liter turbo four cylinder can be a little bit thirsty, 
but that hybrid is going to level things out quite a lot that's going to be outstanding in terms of fuel economy so 8 out of 10 there now for driving I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 yes the steering is super direct you only have to look at a corner and you're already going around it that's how quick that steering is but the engine is fantastic the transmission is fantastic the ride is super comfortable as well 7 out of 10 for that for ownership we're giving it an 8 out of 10 five years unlimited kilometer warranty pretty good warranty but pretty normal as well the cap price servicing is the best bit about it 299 dollars for the first four services or first four years that's great and for safety we're giving it an 8 out of 10 as well it's got a five star and cap rating but remember the fine print that is for 2019's rules and regulations but still it comes with aeb that has pedestrian and cyclist detection lane keeping assistance and front and rear parking sensors pretty darn good there too Okay, that gives us an overall score for the entire Ford Escape range of 7.8 out of 10. Now, if you want to read the full review, go to carsguide.com.au. Hey, give us a like and subscribe. Now, where's my rope gone?